Movement Analysis of a Push-Up A push-up is a fitness exercise done to improve muscular strength or muscular endurance in the upper body. There are two phases of the push-up. The upwards phase is when the arms are straight and the body is raised high off the ground and a downwards phase are where the arms are bent and the body is lowered towards the ground. During the upwards phase of a push-up, the arms are extended at the elbow, which is a hinge joint. To create this movement, the triceps are concentrically contracted and are the agonist. The antagonist muscles are the biceps in the upwards phase of a push-up. The push-up moves through the sagittal plane and transverse axes. As this is extension at the elbow, this is a first-class lever system. During the downwards phase of a push-up, the arms are flexed at the elbow, which is a hinge joint. To create this movement, the triceps are eccentrically contracted and are the antagonist. In the downwards phase of a push-up, the biceps are the agonist. The push-up moves through the sagittal plane of movement and around the transverse axis of rotation. As this is flexion at the elbow, this is a third class lever system. In summary, in the upwards phase of a push-up, the elbow is extended. The triceps are concentrically contracted and are the agonist. The biceps are relaxed and therefore the antagonist. In the downward phase of a push-up, the elbow is flexed. The biceps are the agonist and the triceps are eccentrically contracted, making them the antagonist. The push-up moves through the sagittal plane and transverse axes. Our keywords. Agonist is the muscle contracting to create the movement at the joint. The antagonist is a muscle relaxing to create the movement at the joint. Concentric contraction is a shortening of a muscle to create the movement. Eccentric contraction is the lengthening of a muscle whilst it is under tension. Flexion is a bending at a joint. And extension is a straightening at a joint.